Hello, I am back and it's been a while. I know if I'm being completely honest, I meant to do this video a while ago, but I have been through a lot these past few weeks. I started my second round of chemo and some of the reactions that my body had, I just couldn't anticipate. And so I'm feeling a lot better now and I am ready to do this review. Don't laugh, but this was meant to be part of the VIB sale at Sephora, and I just haven't done it. So here we are now. I will share with you some of the products I got, why I got them, and maybe do a few first impressions. But until then, please like, this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and all the other bells and whistles that you do to support me. And I love you so, so much for it all. We're just going to jump right in because I'm going to get tired very quickly. So here we go. My box of goodies and I'm going to share them with you. <laughs> One of the very first things on my list for that VIB sale was this Moroccan oil color depositing hair mask. I got it in the color copper, if you remember from my last video. I gave it a try, but this time I'm wanting it to be a little bit more red, so I just got the one color and I am going to try it very soon. The next product I got is this Dermalogica Multi, wait, Microfolian. I was going to call it Multifolian, but I was close-ish. Um, but this is the only physical scrub I ever remember being gentle enough for my skin. And my skin has gone through a lot of changes through treatment. One being that I've just noticed my pores get a little bit more clogged, so... I'm wanting to give this another shot to see if it will help. And if I remember correctly, I did love this product a lot in my early 20s. So giving it another go, not much more to say about that. <laughs> Next, we have this set from Gizu, or is it Jizu? I think it's Gizu, but I absolutely love the smell of this oil. More than anything else, I have hair products I love, but nothing smells like this. So I did go ahead and buy this so that I could try this perfume. I did get their limited edition scent a while ago and it was good, but I'm hoping that this is better. And then it also came with a leave-in spray and a hair mask because why not? If you're gonna spend a bit of money, you might as well get the whole kit and try a little bit of everything and see what you love. Maybe I'll do another review just on this set because it is so cute and I am very excited to try it and I love honey. Like, just call me Winnie the Pooh. I love honey. So very excited to try these honey-based hair products. That brings us to the makeup, everyone's favorite part of every Sephora haul, or maybe it's just me and I'm just speaking for everyone, but this is the part that excites me. I will be opening them, giving you my first impressions, talking about the products a little bit. So let's dive in. And the first product is... The Soft Pinch Blushes by Rare Beauty. I already bought the little trio to give them a try because I was a little unsure. I'm not the kind of person that I see someone post a TikTok and it goes viral and I just buy it. I wait and see how I'm going to like the product and how it's going to benefit me. So I'm going to open it up. And I got two colors, two more colors I should say. I got the color Grateful. And I got the color grace. And grace is like my favorite word. I love the word grace and what graciousness means in the world. It's just so wonderful. And I love that she's named her blushes such cute names. Now, 
the thing that excited me most about these blushes and had me wanting to buy more is because the lids are made for people with joint pain to easily open and as I've been going through my cancer treatments I have been experiencing so much pain in my body that sometimes it's really hard for me to do things with my hands. I've also experienced some numbness in my fingertips and so this is just perfect for me. I'm a little scared though because you know how pigmented they are you know or if you've seen you know and I'm gonna attempt to blend this in <laughs> with just my fingers but if you could see like it was so easy for me to open and it just makes me feel like kind of emotional for like cancer patients or people with autoimmune diseases or inflammation in the body like it's just such a game changer and then once I get it to this point I just kind of soften the edges okay that color more pigmented than I anticipated so I don't know how we're gonna fix this but I'm not complaining a girl needs some pigment for the makeup. A little on the nose, a little on the forehead, a little on the chin. Now what? Someone help. I did have another Rare Beauty product to review, but this needs to be fixed. So I think it's a good chance to pop on into one of my other products to review. And that is the one size turn up the base versatile foundation powder and I got this to use kind of as a setting powder I mostly just use tinted moisturizers or very translucent kind of foundations and so I'm thinking that this will help build up coverage if I need it and I did get the matching puff so let's see if this will help kind of lessen the redness and next time I don't know all of my friends who've tried this way before me you tell me what what did I do wrong where did I go wrong with the rare beauty I will say though it's just kind of soaking in a lot on its own as it sits there so I don't know I got three fair neutral because I do plan to use it more um, as a setting for extra coverage. This puff is like huge. <laughs> and then... Uh oh. Did I put too much? Oh yeah, that's definitely adding coverage. Okay, it didn't exactly fix the blush, but wow, it took me a really long time to buy this because I don't usually like pressed foundations or anything kind of dry. I'm actually just going to try put it, oh, wow. Like I just put it right over that. I'm liking this so far. I would definitely need to see how it wears. I'm not sure how I feel about the puff. It's not as soft as I thought it would be, but it's nice and big and puffy and squishy. So, okay. Now we have one more product. Wow. I don't know. Do you see the difference? I see the difference. I'm so excited about that. Okay, now this is my last product. It's my Positive Light Liquid Luminizer and it's called Mesmerize. So hopefully I become absolutely mesmerizing when I put this on. Wow. Okay, I'm scared again that this is gonna be like a lot, but we'll give it a try. Wow. 
Okay. That is gorgeous. And I actually think I got this so that I could mix it with the pinch blushes. <gasps> Y'all. I am very impressed with everything that was in there. I'll need to play with the Rare Beauty blushes a little bit more to figure out that formula and how much to add. But I did notice that it also, there's two different formulas of blushes. One's matte and one is dewy, so that could have something to do with it. But overall, I'm impressed. I was able to save the look with that powder. I. I'm so happy with everything. And I was like, kind of nervous because I had taken so long to review it that I wasn't sure if I'd even be able to return anything. So thank you for joining me. I hope this was as fun for you as it was for me. And until next time. And if you have any questions for me about my journey, about the makeup I use, about whatever, please just ask them in the comments because I want to engage with you. I want to share more of the things that you are going to love. But until next time, ta-ta for now. And I hope your day is as beautiful as you.